All right, we're ready for the start of round nine. Thad Spencer in the black trunks with the white stripes. Jerry Quarry in the bright green velvet trunks. Jerry Quarry in apparently convincing control of this fight at the moment. Consensus among the boxing press at ringside to that effect, and Angie Dundee's private, unofficial score shows Quarry with six points, Spencer with two. If the consensus scoring around here is remotely accurate, Spencer is in terrible trouble because he is not, by his own admission, a knockout puncher. And Quarry has a great capacity to take a punch. resting against the ropes. He had that brief flurry last round that probably captured the round for him when he hurt Spencer again. But there's no question that Quarry is not the fighter he was earlier in the fight. Then, of course, Spencer, who just had that left lead connect. Spencer gives every appearance of being a tired fighter. He has taken good punishment from Quarry. Ninth round. Semi-final match, World Boxing Association Heavyweight Elimination Tournament. Duke, California, Thad Spencer and Jerry Clark. Live on EBC's Wide World of Sports and the winner to go against Louisville's noted tenor, Jimmy Ellis. We have 50 seconds left in round nine and the clock running out as you can see. Scant action in this round. Got misled, thought Quarry was staggered. Not at all. Unstoke, no blow damage. Now let's see if Quarry goes into his late round spurt. Which is what he does when he's tired. at Jerry Quarry in his corner and Quarry is bleeding from the mouth. Flipped late in the round by Spencer, the blood began to flow. First sign of physical damage against Jerry Quarry. That round probably to be given to Thad Spencer. Now, let's leave Jerry Quarry and move over if we can to take a look at Willie Ketchum working on Thad Spencer who is a tired fighter, but who came on somewhat in that round, probably to win it. Catch him giving Spencer instructions. But quite frankly, he's got to tell him he's got to knock him out. It would seem at this point. The official attendance, by the way, 12,110 people here in the Oakland Coliseum as we begin round 10. One knockdown, I repeat, in this fight. It came in the fourth round. Quarry delivered it with a left hook. It's in that round that Quarry builds up a substantial point scoring advantage based upon the California system. vulnerable to a out the fight to the quickness of Quarry's left hook. That's the dominant punch in this fight so far. No question.
Remember, Spencer predicted in the pre fight talk that he'd keep Quarry in the center of the ring. See where they are? Any place but. Right above us, Quarry against the rope. by a left. Ten running out. Harry <laughs> was stunned that time for the first time in the fight with a right from Spencer. Actually stunned. We are down to 20 seconds in round 10 and now left. came back with the left and right combination off a slip, as you must have seen. All right. The bell ends the round. They counted after the bell, actually. A right hand. Floyd Spencer for the second time in this fight. A right hand. And furiously, they work on Spencer in the corner. But time is running out fast on Thad Spencer. The right hand from Quarry that time, the earlier knockdown from the left hook. Let's hopefully get the isolated camera view of that knockdown immediately prior to the end of round 10. Let's watch for that right of Quarry's now. There, do you see it? The right lead. He ducks Spencer's left, and that's what I meant by counterpunching when I explained it before. 